Okay, real quick. If later on you see a very short video on this channel, it's like one minute long, you're going to head on over to JVTV2 to hear the rant for that video. Why JVTV2? Because I'm going to be using a lot of swearing, a lot of vile adjectives. I'm going to be crossing all kinds of lines. I guarantee it because I get pissed. I'm not explain why I'm this tired right now. But um, it's ironic. Someone had just asked me about Stevie's frenemy or arch enemy, Hare. Hare is a guy who came to our store a lot, flamingly gay. And um, oh, the bitch fest between him and Stevie, it's like they pretend they're friends, but they secretly hate each other. Like, really? Like, that was the guy who was always, like, you know, uh, saying, like, oh, okay, girl. <laughs> it was like saying, um, oh, talking about Steve's ass. It's like that when you fuck Steve. That's like throwing a hot dog down a hallway. I'm telling you right now, nobody feels anything. That's the fucking, it's just all wide open down there. Wide open country. How is she doing though? We love her. And hair is a, about a five foot six white male, sassy haircut. Always wearing really tight fitting clothes that Steve likes to mock. Here she comes again. Look at her. She's trying to fit it. Oh, she thinks she's a size four. Isn't that cute? Oh, hair. Did you spend an hour trying to put yourself into those clothes? Oh, Steve. Yes, I did. An hour. And so, how many dicks did you suck in that hour? A hundred? Is that your limit right there? I think so. I love you. He, I love, the best line hair ever did was when Sabrina worked with me. That, that girl. And um, she was gagging on like a hot dog or something like that. And she's like, I, I almost ingested this whole hot dog. And hair was at the sh shop at the time and without missing a beat he looked at Sabrina he's at the doorway he stops and he goes oh you took the whole hot dog almost that's right girl make mama proud mm. oh, god bless you love you girl you go ahead you just go Sabrina so last night somebody just said hey can you do an update on Steve's arch enemy hair I was like alright and uh let's think of doing it and last night we ran into him I swear to Christ like this person's psychic like, asked me to do it uh we were at this play, it was like, okay, Steve got me to go to a gay bar, but it's not what you're thinking. It's not like some ins, ins, guy's book, because I refuse. I absolutely refuse. It's more of like a hangout place. It's just too loud to do over here. Ah, fuck it. It's more of like a hangout area, a hangout place or some shit. And like, you can play pool, there's darts, there's trivia, which turns out I'm really good at. Like, I didn't know that. I, there's lots of useless shit stuck up here, a lot. So, um, we're standing there. And I had to go to the bathroom. I come out and Steve runs up to me like, ah, you're not going to believe who's here. I'm like, I don't know who's here. He's like, hair, hair's here. She got fatter. She did. She got fatter. He's all excited. He's like, she looks like a fat country girl. I swear to God. She looks like one of those girls. Remember that show Hee Haw? Okay, you're too young to remember, but there was a show called Hee Haw. It looked like a, she looks like a big country pig. Oh God, she's horrible. She's the best. Oh, there she is. Hi, hair. And hair comes walking over. <gasps> Jay, Jay, how are you doing? Oh yes. She's been talking about me, hasn't she? What she said? Yes, mama put on a little weight. I'm sorry I don't look like a Holocaust victim like you do, girl. Okay, crystal meth is a bitch. Don't do it. Crystal is not your friend. She's bad for you. Okay. Anyway, Jay, how are you? I, and the bitch fest began. And I always, I gotta say, I always love how gay guys refer to each other as she or her. They use that pronoun. I just love it. Like, they were, like, so me and Hair are talking for a little bit. Hair, where have you been? He's like, ah, uh, yeah, I've been working at the airport. Ironically enough, Sabrina, when she left my store, ended up working at the airport. She doesn't work there anymore because she kind of lost an old person that she was wheeling around who was supposed to make their flight. It happens. You get a call, and there's an old person in a wheelchair, and you forget. And, you know, they end up crying alone in the airport for two hours because, you know, you can't find them again. It happens. So I was talking to him. I was like, how things the airport? I was busy. I saw that girl. Sabrina, she's a mess. She doesn't know where she's going. She had to stop 50 times to ask for gate 12. Bitch, if you don't know where gate 12 is after working here for two months, you're you're truly lost. Yes, you are. But I love her. Her hair is fierce. I heard she's doing wonderful. God, her style, impeccable. Just, he always, always a backhanded compliment. So then he goes away and he's over talking to some guy at the bar. And then Steve rocks up to me and goes, oh, look at her. She thinks she has a chance with that guy. I could watch it all night. I could watch these two go back and forth all night. Hair comes back, and then he goes like this to me across. I can't do it. Like, drink down. Hair goes like this from across the bar to me. He's like, and I'm like, so I had to go up to Hair. I'm like, what are you talking about? And he's like, 
That's her asshole. That's her pussy. It's that wide now. Swear to God, she can go yodeling in that thing. She's been used and abused. Don't let her tell you anything. Yeah, Stevie, she's been around the block. Fuck that. She's been around the state. She's been around the continent. She's been around everything. You got a dollar. Call Stevie. Oh, here she comes. Girl, how are you doing? You having a good time here? Yeah, acting spastic again. I told you. it's. I know. You're not on crystal meth. Well, cocaine's not your friend either. He knows Crystal real well. Him and Crystal go out shopping. He loves Crystal and Crystal loves him. Don't tell me that. No, it's not just caffeine, Jay. You got to stop defending her. She's a mess. She needs to know she's a mess. And that's just all there is to it. Yeah. Now, Mama sees something she really likes. So I'm going to ignore you. And if I don't get that person over there, I'm going to come back, say you're my boyfriend. Might put an arm around you. Don't be uncomfortable. Try to make him jealous so I can get that ass. I could, I, could, I could do this all day. The other best part of the evening, so Harry and him are going back and forth, and you know, but they do. I think they like each other, I don't know. But Steve was still going on and on about like, well, you know, she, she, you saw how much rain she gave, right? She got a lot of weight. And that haircut, what's that about? Yeah, her haircut's like this now. She looks like a fucking angry lesbian. I mean, I know it's kind of redundant, but seriously. Oh, God. Still trying to squeeze herself into those shorts. Look at that, they're, they're ready to blow. They're ready to break. I swear she's gonna, she must stitch them up every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, here she comes. I have to go say bye to her, though. Yeah, we're leaving soon, right? Oh, God, I gotta go say bye to her. I love her. Kisses. They do that shit. Then at the end of... Okay, girl, you try not to suck too much dick on your way home, okay? Try to keep that canyon, get it downsized a little bit, okay? You don't want it that big. Now, you get lost. There's there's tour groups that go up in your asshole. It's so big now because all the dicks you take. It's not even a dick, probably. He's got a dick, takes, you know, fire hydrant. Don't matter to her. She's a mess. But I love you, girl. I love you, too, Harry. It's funny as fuck. Then I got to talk possibly the best person ever on the planet this guy was bitching and moaning he's by the bar and he comes over and he's like can you put a load in me huh i thought i heard him wrong he's like can you uh quick question can you put a load in me that bathroom or yeah, i don't know the alley or i have a car i have an apartment too i got a sling set up i'm like uh no but i appreciate it and we just started talking and he's like i hate this bar i hate and I hate gay people. He's like, fags are the worst thing that's ever happened. And I'm like, you just asked me to put a load in you. Are you not in yourself gay? He's like, oh, yeah. He goes, that's why I'm single. He goes, no gay guy in his right mind would ever get married. He's like, I can't stand him. He's like, all I want is dick, dick, dick. And then I want you to shut the fuck up and go home. Ugh, I hate when they talk. And, ugh, they're so annoying. And then he proceeds to tell me he is carrying. How do I say this? I get struck. He is carrying several... Um, sperm samples inside of him because he made several stops before coming to this one bar before going back to his apartment which he has a sling set up and you know he's on grinder and other things and you just get to knock on his door and come on up there and fuck him and he doesn't want to hear anything it's like i don't want to hear them talk stick it in me he's like listen i'm a lazy bottom which i never heard in my life it's like i'm a lazy bottom i want to sit there i want to get fucked and i want to watch netflix after and that's all i want I love this guy. This guy's the best guy ever. He's like, seriously, he's like, even if you have a half a limb dick, just stick it in me already, squirt your shit, and let me get the fuck out of here already. And I'm like, so you have a sling set up. He's like, oh yeah, it's attached. He's like, it's, he said it's a, uh, I'm like a rack. Like you can do it and undo it. He's like, oh, I've taken on planes and everything. He goes, to, next week I have a bathhouse tour. I'm like, okay, pause again. What is a bathhouse tour? He's like, oh, he's like, well, that's where you go to like Indiana or Wisconsin. You tour all the bathhouses dick 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 he's like see as many as you can get he's like i'm not satisfied he goes unless i get like 30 40 cocks in me a week he's like that's the way to live he goes i'm 59 fucking years old i'm not getting any younger he goes i just want to fuck eat and he left alone steve has to enter the conversation at this point go don't you ever want to have a um you know like a boyfriend or somebody meaningful and he looks he's like are you fucking crazy he's like why would i want that he goes i get to eat what i want watch what i want he goes if i had a boyfriend they probably end up some skank hole like something around the corner or something like that end up sucking dick anyway then what do i need him for he's like no he goes i need dick i have a grinder for dick he goes or some you know a club around here or someplace he's like i can dick anywhere i want it why do i want somebody he's like fuck that he's like gay men are horrible he's like the biggest whores on the planet anyway i gotta go you sure about that load can't really alley real fast no can't oh well, okay well nice to meet you have a great day take it easy Bunch of, and then he saw a guy at the other end of the bar who wasn't looking at him he's like look at the hillbilly so you see that's what i'm talking about six foot two hillbilly kind of a pot belly i'd let him stick it in me he's like he's not even looking over here he thinks he's brad pitt he's like that's the problem with these motherfuckers and don't get me started on the little queens he's like yeah all the six-pack ab club over here he's like yeah he goes 
they love meth and that's he goes they love meth and dick tied he goes that's about it he goes maybe lady gaga i don't know so i had the best time ever i could have watched this shit all fucking night so there's the hair update and i was shocked to see him and ah, it's it's never a dull moment those two so keep in mind what i said about the other video too i'm, I'm gonna upload it soon the one minute one i'm so tired you're gonna understand why i'm gonna go to jvtv too